everyone, welcome back to Cooking for Health. Thank you all for your support over the last few weeks. Recently, my husband and I were at a delicious, quaint Chinese restaurant in the middle of Amsterdam, and we had the most amazing Chinese dumplings. The problem with Chinese dumplings is often they can be heavily laden with a lot of fats and sugar, and it's not always a very healthy option as a snack. Today, I'm going to recreate the Chinese dumpling using a very lean meat as well as no oil. So let's get going. For this recipe, you will need 250 grams of lean chicken mince, half an onion, finely chopped, one cup of cabbage, finely chopped, a piece of ginger, minced to taste, two cloves of garlic, minced, one cup of spring onion, finely chopped, one tablespoon of oyster sauce, one tablespoon of soy sauce, a pinch of pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of corn flour, and dumpling wrappers bought at the store. So we're going to start by adding 250 grams of lean chicken mince. I'm not using pork today. I'm gonna to use a lean chicken mince and chop half an onion finely. The important thing about the ingredients that you put into a dumpling is that everything needs to be really finely chopped. Here at Cooking for Health, we believe that love is spread with cooking and eating and enjoying lovely food, but you can make healthy choices about the food you eat and that can positively influence your health. So we're gonna add half an onion to our pork as well as two tablespoons of ginger. Chinese love, and even Thai, love to use ginger in their meals, and I am a big fan of ginger. So if you want to use more than a tablespoon, go right ahead. You now finely chop about a cup of cabbage. This needs to be really thin and finely chopped. So it's about a cup of finely chopped cabbage as well as adding about half a cup of finely chopped spring onion. Remember to cut all these ingredients really fine. So you add your chopped spring onion to the rest of the mixture, about a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, a pinch of salt and pepper. and about one tablespoon of corn flour. So that's it, we're gonna give it a nice stir so that everything's combined. And you have kind of like a sticky mixture that we're gonna fill our dumpling wrappers with. So we're gonna lightly flour our pan or our bowl, our dish, so that our dumplings don't stick to the bottom. And it's time to fill our dumplings. So the paste that's gonna help the dumplings stick is actually normal tap water. So these are store-bought dumpling wrappers that I've just bought. You can make them yourself, of course, but it's really so much easier just to get it at the Chinese supermarket, which is what I did. So scoop in about a teaspoon into the center of your dumpling wrapper, wet the edges with some water, fold it over, and make pleats on the wrapper. So again, a teaspoon in the center of your dumpling wrapper, wet the edges or the outside, approximate the edges, and pleat them. You can make the pleats tight or far apart, so these are obviously going to be steam dumplings because they are the healthier version to dumplings. I do have a steamer but I know many of you don't so I'm going to show you how to steam the dumplings using a normal pot. So you're going to bring a little bit of water to the boil, about half a cup, just so that the bottom of your pan is covered with water. And all you're going to do is pop a few dumplings into that water. So just. Put your dumplings in there as you see the water's already boiling and cover it so that they steam up nicely. The steaming process should take anything between five and 10 minutes, but you'll know when it's done when the water evaporates out of your pot. 
So you can turn down your heat and let that cook. So as you can see guys, the water has all been evaporated. So I'm literally gonna add a drizzle of olive oil and give these a little fry. Hey guys, so this is my famous steamed dumplings. They are so delicious. So I'm just gonna pop them into my basket. For me, I believe that you can always eat the foods that you love, but make healthy options when doing so. For example, with these steamed dumplings, what I've done is also steam some broccoli, and I'm gonna use them with my dipping sauce. And my dipping sauce is just some oyster sauce, some soy sauce, a bit of chili and ginger. And that's my snack. Bye.